Hey Star Wars fans, Jesse here. Welcome back to another action figure review. Today we're jumping back into some vintage collection stuff, which is something I haven't reviewed for quite a long time. Um, mainly just because of the lack of them, really. Um, I never did get around to doing the Force Friday ones from last year, um, which had some of the early uh, Rise of Skywalker stuff in it. But we're going back, we're, we're looking today at a couple of the new Mandalorian uh, action figures. We're going to start off with the Remnant Stormtrooper. This is VC-165. Very awesome looking card back. That Mandalorian logo looks sweet. Um, I did get two of these. On the back. You go VC-165 at the top. All the warnings and all that blah blah blah. So uh, let's go and have a look. All right, and here are the Remnant Stormtroopers. Like I said, I did get a couple of these. Uh, one of them I have switched out a weapon. He does come with just standard E11, but I decided to get one of the uh, TIE Fighter Pilot Blasters and give him that one, because we do see a Stormtrooper um, having that blaster. These guys are just sort of picked up whatever weapons they can, really. Um, that's the vibe I get from them. They've just got a limited arsenal, they've uh, just held on to watch whichever weapons they could get their hands on um, as they serve whatever whatever lord they're, they're, they're serving. So this, these guys are serving the client uh, on behalf of Moff Gideon. So these guys are pretty messed up and rugged. In terms of the sculpt, it is exactly the same as the most recent Rogue One Stormtrooper, which came out in the vintage collection. Uh, I do have a couple of them, I didn't review him. Um, so this one you're basically getting the same the same figure with a bit of extra uh, paint deco some some weathering basically so probably the best stormtrooper to date so I will move one of them out of the way so we can focus on the details on this guy because um, yeah this is one of my favorite sculpts of stormtrooper we've ever had um, this will be take some beating because um, it is just so good and I hope this becomes the standard three and three quarter inch stormtrooper sculpt for many years to come I'm sure we'll get some down the line that have holsters I'm not sure if the rogue ones rogue one stormtroopers had the holsters I'm not sure um, I can't actually see on my shelf from where I am but that's okay We'll remove the blaster actually and get a load of this weathering. Now, because it is a digital application, uh, the weathering is exactly the same on all of them. So you can look at them side by side, um, all the same spots, all the same sort of brown washes are all in the same spot, and all the figures. Um, so, you could absolutely just mess these guys up a little bit if you wanted to. Um, do know or do remember when Hasbro um, basically announced the Stormtrooper and they basically said do you want it clean or do you want it dirty and uh, I think majority of the collectors basically said give it to us clean because we can make it dirty ourselves um, so Hasbro's decided to do the dirty option as well so um, this is, it's a good looking Stormtrooper really good looking Stormtrooper So in terms of articulation, he has a ball jointed head. Uh, probably on that double ball peg that they're using now. Uh, ball hinged shoulders. Ball hinged elbows. Ball hinged wrists. Ball jointed torso there. Ball hinged hips. Swivel cut at the thighs. I think, yep. Uh, joint in the knee. Which does bend quite a way, so that's really nice. And a ball joint in the ankles. Ball hinge in the ankles. So really nicely articulated Stormtrooper. This is what we want. Give us more. Double pack them. Throw one in every case assortment that you put out with some new figures. Because Stormtroopers will always sell. Um, always. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. I'll be back with Cara June next. Till then, may the force be with you.